Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do the first week of July general love reading. Now keep in mind, this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my fellow Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over our energy, the song that I got was You'll Never Find Another Love Like Mine by Lou Rawls. Mr. Lou Rawls was a Sagittarius. So you could be done with a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. There also could have been an ending in Sagittarius season of last year, 2023. So November, December time frame that may resonate. Some of you guys may cross paths with this person or you may have seen something or somebody sent you screenshots. Because I'm seeing screenshots. Somebody may have sent you a screenshot or something that this person posted like a subliminal diss or something like that on social media. <laughs> and literally as I was hearing this, I started cracking up laughing because... Just the name of the song, you'll never find enough love like mine. Like if somebody's trying to dish you or post something subliminal, regardless of the time frame, I'm just putting it out there. But if you see somebody doing something like that, you might be like, good, shit. I don't want to find another person like you. That's why we ain't together. Who you think you threatening or who you, who still you think you hurting? Because I do feel like just based off of this industry. <laughs> uh, look, I'm feeling very Gemini for sure because I'm, I'm cracking up because... Somebody is intentionally trying to hurt your feelings, like trying to post something, like especially if you still follow an ex on social media, the moon is your emotions and feelings. They may be trying to post stuff like little subliminals or being just very direct, trying to say something shady, trying to hurt your feelings. But I feel like for a lot of you all, you're like, good. I ain't trying to find another love like you because if that was love, I'd rather choose hate because I don't want nothing to do with you because you, you was tripping. You know, it could be one of those things. And also as another message, because I'm getting that part for somebody and then for others, it could be like, you may be having to tell people, like, you you got to go. I'm cutting you off. And they feelings is hurt. They big. They in they feelings big time. The moon rules over the emotion and feelings. They are in they feelings big time because some of you guys may have cut this person off. Or you're telling this person, like, yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, okay? Pages are messengers. Some of you guys are going to tell somebody something that's going to have them all in their feelings. I also feel like you're going to give it to somebody raw. Now, Lou Rawls' name is R. His last name is R-A-W-L-S, like Rawls. But I'm hearing, I keep hearing, like, you're going to have to give it to him raw. Regardless of whether or not you know it's going to hurt their feelings, I feel like the intention is not to be hurtful, but to be informative. Like, yo, you had it good with me. And you actually played yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. You know, that's the energy that I'm getting right here. Somebody could be dealing with someone whose name is Lou. Louis. Somebody's last name could be Rose, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. We're going to go through the deck until we get our major arcana, which happens to be the lovers. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers. I almost said our sign, our card is the sun, and that's Leo. So some of you guys can be done with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individual. Also, Leo season is up next after Cancer season, and we do have Mercury retrograde starting up again in Leo season. It starts August 1st. So for some of you all, there's going to be an ex that's going to come back as you know it happens. All the time, Mercury, Mercury and Venus retrograde, here they come with that, with that old BS, okay? You may have somebody who's going to try to come back and they're kind of trying to throw it in your face or you're telling them like, ain't no point in you trying to come back now because I've moved on. That, that window of opportunity is closed. When I wanted to reconcile or when I was open to reconciling, you were nowhere to be found. You was out here playing the field, playing games. So look. Just like Lou said, you're going to miss my loving. You're going to miss, you're going to miss my love. Somebody's nickname or somebody used to call you love. You know, like how people call each other bae or something like that. For some of y'all, they may be like, come in love or something like that. Like they may have some, they may used to call you that or you used to call them that. Or when you post stuff, you would post like me and my love or something like that. It could be something, something to that nature. Somebody also is reminiscing, like looking at old pictures. You know how like. On social media, they were like, this time last year, and then it's a picture of you and this person at an event or hooked up or something like that. That may be triggering somebody to have some thoughts or something like that also, you know, okay? So currently at the bottom of the deck, you got a death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, somebody's like, it's done. The death card, that's a death. That's an ending. That's a major arcana. That's definite. You're going to miss me when it's done and over with. Hello. Okay, let's get into some shuffles now. So, did I say somebody in their feelings big time? Some of you guys, this definitely could be a Scorpio that you were dealing with. This person may still be keeping tabs on you, watching you on social media. For some of you all, you may have still allowed. See, I don't do that. Once I'm done with people, I block them. But I know people personally who say, like, 
why didn't block this person? Because I want them to see me happy. I want them to see me moving on. It's like doing that, you're still giving this person access, which means you guys still have energetic cords. That causes a lot of confusion energetically, emotionally. So you may want to think twice about that, but to each his own. Just putting it out there because I did get that as a message from some of y'all. Some of y'all are still allowing this person to follow you on social media. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the page of pentacles. So this person may be saying, like, you don't even know what you lost. I'm always a rare gem. Now, this person be saying this to you, or you could be saying this to them. Some of y'all may also have a child with this individual. This child could be Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Summer, Rise, and Venus. They have the first, middle, last initial of CGMW, P, L, or S. Somebody's name may be Paige. Now, even if you don't have a child as an earth sign or you don't have a child at all with this individual, this person may be reaching out to you. Again, I keep seeing something about old footage or old videos or old, like a screenshot. Like, you see how that little gleam of light right there is making me think about a screenshot? This person may be sending, like, you may not have even talked to this person for a while. And they may be texting you and sending you a screenshot, like, remember this? This popped up in my feed. And you're like, so? <laughs> that may be happening to somebody. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana. Again, that's the lovers, the card that comes before, and the card that comes after. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. The lovers for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Blue Rose was from Chicago. I live in Chicago, so some of you all may live in Chicago or in the Illinois area as well. Or the person that you deal with grew up there. So you have the page of swords. Remember, we had that here. Some of you guys are going to have to deliver a message. Like, straight up. Look at how he's, like, giving it to him raw. Look at his face. Like, he ready to go off. Just look at that face, that focus, that intensity. Some of you guys are going to have to tell this person how you truly feel. You blew it. Or it's like, it's your fault that things are the way that they are. There's your energy and then right behind it. You have, yep, see, nine of pentacles, single woman, single man. Some of you all are single because this person was playing games. And also, this person is watching you blow up. You're more stable. It's like you're well off, wealthy. You're doing well. You've been focusing on your money, your physical body, your abundance. You're also dating for some of you all. She has those three roles and she has options in love. He or she put it where it applies. And this person is seeing that. And they're missing you. Huh. Because now I'm hearing this song, Missing You. Um, Who is it? Brandy Tamia. Ooh. Was it Gladys? It was on a soundtrack of Set It Off, right? Although I'm missing you, I'll find a way to get through living without you. Because you are my sister, my strength, and my pride. Only God may know why. But still, I will get by. Something like that. But I'm hearing, I'm hearing that song. So outside of the whole sister thing, it's like, although I'm missing you, I'll find a way to get through living without you. Somebody is like, they're regretting that they let you go. Because you were a prize and you are a rare gem. That's what I'm getting. Look at that. <laughs> and you see, I was holding this so I couldn't even see it. You are a rare gem. This person was regretting it. Like, you're looking up to the universe like, okay, what's next for me on my journey? And this person looking at you like, okay, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna take my hand. You ain't gonna take me back. I'm telling you, they're realizing. And remember I said earlier on, I was since I was getting Leo, that big ass sun is making me think I'm Leo. Leo is the sun in tarot. So for some of y'all, it could be a Leo. Even right here, there's flames on that bush. It could be a Leo male. doesn't have to be, but I'm just putting it out there. It also could be this person trying to come back because those hands, they're not that far apart. This person could be trying to come back in Leo season. Let's go ahead and part the deck. So you have, look, you got the Empress going right towards your energy. Male or female, you know your worth. A lot of you are like, I'm not going to play second fiddle to nothing and nobody. I know my worth. The Empress always knows her worth. The Empress or the Emperor, they always know their worth. Um, Libra Taurus energy here as well. And also, you know, whenever you see the Empress, the Emperor is never too far behind, uh, vice versa, same sex, however it resonates for you. For a lot of you all, this person could be a twin flame if you resonate with that twin flame journey. This person could be coming back during Mercury Retrograde, which is very typical. Um, and then also, for some of you all, you're realizing that this person wasn't your twin flame or your soulmate. Or, you know, this person, is real. this person could be realizing, like, I really feel like this person is my person. I, I really blew it. Again, put it where the plastic is there. When you're doing general readings, you can get so many different messages. You got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Strong Taurus references here with the King of Pentacles. I always say Virgo, Capricorn also potentially because it's not a major arcana, so it can apply to any of the earth signs. 
I feel like somebody realizes what they lost. Something that they value. You see how he's looking down at that pinnacle? And he's outside the castle, not inside. So this is someone who's no longer in your life. But see, they're not too far from that castle. So it's like this person hasn't moved on. Hmm. They haven't moved on because they're realizing what they did. They're realizing what they lost. Why do, I don't know. Why the hell I just random? Okay. I just randomly thought about Cisco, the singer. He's a Scorpio. I'm thinking about the song, How Can I Love You Tonight? I don't think it's the, the actual name of the song, but that's the song. That's the hook of the song and things like that. How Can I Love You Tonight? Off of his independent album. He's a Scorpio. So you definitely could be done with Scorpio. And we did see the death card earlier, so that could resonate for someone out there. Let's get a clarifier for the Page of Swords. Universal Energies of Light, Love, and Divine Protection. Give us a clarifier for the Page of Swords. Ooh. Okay, you had a couple, you had a quite a few cards. Okay, that's too many. If it was one or a couple, I would take that, but it's way too many cards. So we're gonna keep shuffling. Universal energies, and they were all flipped face down. Now, if it was flipped face up, then okay, we can look at it. When it's flipped face down, for me, that's the energy of like that was the unknown things because you couldn't see the card. That was the unknown things that was causing conflicts. I didn't want to look at all that because again, it's a general reading, so I don't want the energy to be confusing. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Please give us a message and a clarifier for the page of swords for Gemini. Someone rise, there you go. Someone rise, Venus individuals. I'm going to say again, for some of you guys, it is a fire sign. Leo says Aries. You got two pages here. Let me tell you something. Messengers. So there, there's two different scenarios. Like I said, pages are messengers for sure. They're coming in to deliver some type of message or some type of communication. I feel very strong. Like, even in this case, for some of y'all, both of you, you and this other person may have felt like the other person did things to mess something up. Or it's like both individuals wanting the other to see, like, okay, I'm doing good. I'm doing better. It's like a tit for tat is what I'm getting here because you got two, two pages. And also, for some of you all, this could have been someone that you dated when you were a teenager or in your early 20s or something like that. And then it's like they're trying to come back like, okay, I've grown up. I've, I've evolved. I'm getting that as well. Because pages, those are the young dudes in tarot, right? Star card, wish fulfillment and healing. This person may come back and say they want to heal something with you. Aquarius energy. I'm also hearing like, you know, for some of you all, you're helping heal some karmic situation with this person by being just vulnerable and honest also. Like, just tell this person straight up what the deal is or how their behavior has affected a connection. And also, I'm going to say again, some of you guys going to just come flat out and tell this person, like, you're ready to move around because wands is action. Like, it's, it's like putting something in motion. You're telling people, like, I'm, I'm, I, I got to move around. I'd rather be single than to do this song and dance with you. I'm not, I can't do this. This isn't for me, you know. And also, somebody, you know, again, with the name of the song, you'll never find another love like mine. It's, a lot of you all know that you're a hot commodity. You know that you got the juice. So, you like, I ain't got to stay in this shit. Let's get a clarifying for the nine of pentacles, okay? Hmm. Yeah, some of you guys are dumping some seed. Come on. Some of you guys are dumping somebody. Possibly in cancer season, you could be into something. You may reach out to this person and have some type of communication with them on a Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or Thursday. Also, always flip it and put it where it applies. This could be someone doing this to you. Okay, whatever the case, this is upright. That's an offer of love in reverse. You see upright, it's the hand is extending this offer in reverse. It's dumping it upside down. And then you got someone that's associated, strongly associated with single woman, single man. It's not always just that, but it is strongly associated with her. She's here, singular, but she's keeping her options open. She has those roses there. She has options. That's why I said, you guys got the juice. So you're not staying in no situation where it's like you're not appreciated, you're not valued. Because again, she's surrounded by pentacles being valued. If you don't feel valued, and that, that makes a lot of sense what Lou Rawl was singing in that song. You'll never find another love like mine. You know, someone who will do all the things that I do. If you didn't value me, then bye. You got to go. And you're going to miss me. Because I gave a lot. So much so that the water is running over. I flooded you with love and support. And you didn't appreciate it, so peace up. a town now. Somebody could live in Atlanta also. For some reason, I was just seeing that. So I do feel like for some of y'all, you, you're not dealing with this BS. And they are going to miss you, or they already do. Because for some of y'all, they're just watching you from the net. Yeah, wow. Because look, 
She's sitting there with her hood on. I always tell you guys, face shields, mask, hood, those are disguises. She's inside that castle, so why is she wearing that cloak and that hood? That's a disguise, which means this person has access to you. She has access to the inside of that castle, so why is she there with a hood and a cloak on in, in the doors, you know, inside? So it's like somebody's watching you. Some of you all, this person still watch you from social media. For some of you all, even if you thought you blocked this person, they, they're following you from a fake account. I'm getting that also. Or they're asking people about you. If you guys have mutual friends, those two birds, those, you know, birds of messages, they could be going back asking people, mutual friends. Or if they know your family members, like, hey, how is so-and-so and so doing? I'm hearing Shelly. Somebody's name could be Shelly. I'm also hearing Kareem. Shelly, Kareem. And Corey could resonate for someone out there as well. Okay? So, Gemini, someone rising in Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.